it's Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Are we on live? Okay, I think my connection looks like it was spotty, but welcome. It's the weekly for September 5th, 2018. I can't believe that we're already in September. Uh, and this is um, our first day of full day of school for my grade 12 student and just kind of I went to drop them off at school and my gosh I forgot how what that's like with school drop-off I live in a very residential area but the only the only rush hour traffic is before and after school so I'm back I've been working and this is uh, the weekly your weekly encouragement for worship worship uh, to help you elevate your praise and worship to the next level so welcome are you guys having a great start to September what are your plans I know that with September it's not the official start of the year but often programs start getting going um, churches do new things that kind of thing so if you have taken the summer off to do things let me know in the chat what you're what you are up to this September what you're looking forward to uh, until Christmas and yeah let me know what you're doing so so much has happened and I think my brain is a little fuzzy because I have lots to tell you uh, I want to start with with uh, just kind of following up with what we've been talking about in the last few weeks uh, in regards to how we treat each other and how we respond to one another and and what does unity look like in the body and what does unity look like online what does unity look like in our churches in our communities and I just want to do a little bit of a recap a few weeks ago I shared just something that was on my heart from 1 Peter 4 8 that love co covers a multitude of sins or it covers a lot of wrongs uh, and again I just want to stress again that that actually that verse is meaning our love for one another not God's love for us that his his love actually eradicates our sin that we are spotless and blameless um, for him that we are made forever perfect but uh, the love that Peter is talking about in first Peter 4 8 is our love for one another that it covers its canopy that covers over us uh, and then the last week I said I talked about how to love well and how to do confrontation and confrontation is not is not a scary word and it's actually something that really shows love and how to love well is to say uh, I love you so much that there's that I am willing to be uncomfortable and to be awkward and have this awkward conversation so that there is nothing in between us that we might come together and be restored in our relationship that we might be unified now unified does not necessarily mean we have to agree but we do have to honor and love and respect each other so that then we looked at what does what does spiritual confrontation look like and how should and how should we go about that and we found from Matthew 18 15 through 17 uh, it says that you you go to that person privately and you you talk to them and you have a conversation and I think that the conversation looks like how can I understand what you're where you're coming from how can I understand you and not to put it uh, out there and not to create our camps and to create our support uh, it's good to be supported uh, but the Lord is your support and so you can actually go to someone and say hey we're having a problem um, it might be real or, or imagined uh, but let's just take care of this and then and then verse 17 says that if you if it doesn't work then what do you do is you actually treat them as a pagan or a tax collector which was like ooh, that was like the worst of the worst um, and however how did Jesus treat those people in that he brought them into he brought them in so it's never to cast out and to sep separate or segregate it's perhaps they they are if someone who has been in your inner circle and you can't let them and the re reconciliation doesn't happen uh, then perhaps you have a little bit of boundaries but it does not mean that you turn your love off it does not mean that you shun them it does not mean that they are cast out Jesus actually brought people right in he said Zacchaeus I'm coming to your house Matthew you're part of my chosen you're part of my group and so he doesn't he doesn't cast you off that's not what that verse is saying and then today I want to talk about if this if you've done everything that you possibly can do then what do you do sometimes 
we have problems. And I love actually reading in Acts and I read about Paul and and he had problems with Silas, he had problems with Barnabas that they actually separated, he didn't like Mark, he probably had, him and Peter went at it quite a bit, there's very two strong personalities that they didn't, they didn't work it out, and yet they loved and honored and respected one another, and that's completely possible for us to be able to do that too. Paul writes in Romans 12 18 it says as much as it depends on you be at peace with everyone and I love that verse and it's actually a verse that I come back to again and again and again as have I done everything to be at peace have I done everything have I laid down my right to be right so that I can love someone and if it doesn't work can I still be at peace with it and so uh, what this verse is saying that that as much as it is, there's actually going to be some times where it's like that. So taking uh, examples from scripture, from Peter and Paul, uh, Acts 15 is all about how the disciples, the apostles of the, of the day were in disagreement and yet they didn't turn their love off. And so that's really, really important is not to turn our love off. And again, we also, an Old Testament verse in Nehemiah 6, 3, which again, I love this picture of Nehemiah, uh, bringing the Israelites and rebuilding the wall so they were doing they were doing a really important work and uh, Zerubbabel I think that was the name uh, was really causing some problems and the problems were not coming from outside the camp the problems were actually were coming from other Israelites and so Nehemiah in his wisdom and may God give you wisdom in this too that if he can give Nehemiah the wisdom, he can give you wisdom as well. But Nehemiah said in 6.3, he says, I am doing a great work. I cannot come down to you and squabble with you. That's a, paraphrasing, but that's essentially what he says. And so understanding that you are about your father's business, you are about the business of God. And not everyone is going to be able to even recognize it. We all have varying degrees of freedom that we're walking in. Uh, but the idea is that we all have freedom. And so that actually um, talks about what we're, the new collection is the identity collection. And there's been just so many, I don't like to say that, I don't like to, to look for the devils around the corner on everything. Um, that's not, the reality is we have an enemy, but I'm not looking for it. I'm not even, I'm not even, concentrating on fighting the enemy I just realized that there are some a lot of distractions that we that the enemy does throw it throws in hurdles and so the identity collection really has had a lot of hurdles um, which tells me that it is such a powerful and such a, a, a significant collection of of prophetic de declarations when I create a flag they are prophetic declarations they are prophetic words that are visually represented it's a word from the Lord and I represent that in color and so when we use these tools of worship that we are actually prophesying in the place thanks Jen uh, it is such a great collection I'm so excited about it and there's actually um, several flags that are limited edition even I'm not even sure if they're gonna last to the end of the collection so don't wait uh, I sent out an email to the fire catchers VIP group that you were able to that you were able to shop early one day early with a with a $20 voucher uh, and so a lot of you took advantage of that and that we, I'm dangerously low for holy and blameless. So if that's one thing that you wanted to get, don't wait. Uh, I thought that it was, it was gonna go a little bit further, but that has been very popular. Um, that's been the number one trending uh, flag. I didn't even pay attention to what else was there, but that's been very popular, holy and blameless. I love that verse. I'm chosen, you are chosen, that you are a Mago Deo, that you are the very image of God, that he's pleased to put his image on you, that you are crowned for glory, that you are the righteousness of God, that um, that you, there, you are like a starry night that is shines bright in the darkness. These are all declarations of your of your identity. I'm really excited about it. And what very anticlimactic, what the surprise was supposed to be 
a second collection that was released on the same day. Not my intention. I just was having a technically hard day on Monday, so I sent out an email. So I quickly put it to finished it. So actually right now too is the Traveler Collection. The Traveler Collection will not disappear. This is going to be part of our permanent offerings. And I'm super excited about the Traveler Collection because it is designed, it's, they're specially designed to take with you. So if you are traveling, uh, it doesn't take long before you decide, I want to tra travel with my worship flags wherever you go. As you know, it's a little bit of a problem because the flags, especially the, the multi-layer worship flags with the poles, whether they have a flexion or wood poles, they don't fit into normal suitcases. Um, and so you either had to go with uh, silks, uh, swing flags, quivers that folded up, uh, or have smaller flags, but none of that is, you don't have to, to you don't have to leave your multi-layer flags at home any longer. They can come with you. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, check out the collection. It's catchthefireworshipflags.com slash traveler. Uh, I'll have all the links for the, uh, the collections. If you have any questions, um, again, the, the identity collection will be available until November or October 31st. The Traveler collection will be part of our permanent offerings. And then I will be introducing new travel flags uh, every collection again. And the identity on display, who are you anyway? Uh, that's coming up for the Fire Catchers online classroom. We're going to be delving further into your identity. What is normal Christianity? What is a normal Christian look like? What is your identity in Christ? And who are you anyway? So join me on September 15th at 9 a.m. PST. Uh, that's West Coast time. So uh, if you're on the East Coast, that's noon and anywhere in between to figure out where your time zone is. It is 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and then one week after that, oh, I forgot the book. I had it in my hand and I left it in the house. Uh, the next book club book is Glory Realms, I think. Rosie, if you know what it is, can you, can you put it in there? And then comments. It's, oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. So that's, but that's on the 21st. We have a online book club that you're welcome to join us, whether you read the book or not. Uh, join in for the conversation. Glory, that's just the name, Glory. Uh, and it is by I'll get the information and I'll, and I'll put it, I'll add it to the post so that you have that information. Uh, if you're not a fire catcher, join us in the fire catchers group. We'll also put a link there so that you can join us in the events. Also, I would mentioned if you're not part of the fire catchers VIP cl club and you get little perks like this last week, early access as well as a $20 gift card, yeah, $20 gift card, you need to be part of our VIP club and you just get a little bit more. Uh, and finally, uh, the winner of the, of the August Fly Your Flag Friday dun, 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 was Katie Waldrop. Drop, Waldrop. Uh, so congratulations. It's actually already packaged to go, so I couldn't even bring it out with me. Um, it's ready to go. I just need you to confirm, Katie. Uh, I do actually have your address, but I just need to confirm that you know that you're the winner. I'll have another post about it and I'll tag you in it so you won't miss it. Um, but congratulations to you. Thank you to everyone who was participating in the Flyer Flag Fridays for June, July, and August. Uh, we will not be doing that for September. Uh, we've got some other things that are coming up that I want to have fun with you guys. Uh, and so that's it. C any questions or Rosie, I can see, is there anything that I'm forgetting that I need to mention? If you haven't seen the interview with, with Tiffany Heaven Dancer and Rosie, uh, take a look. I think there's links to our, to the, to the interview on YouTube. We'll get the links there. Also, it's in a fire catchers group and on the page. Uh, anything else that I might be forgetting? If not, I'm going to sign off. Let me know what your, your favorite identity collection flag is. If you've got any, if you're, if you, 
I've sent out the first batch yesterday. Uh, I'd love to see some photos and some testimonies uh, in the group. That would be fabulous. I would love hearing those kind of testimonies. All of them, Jen. Ah, uh, Jen, you're going to keep me in business. <laughs> um, have a great week. We will see you next week. Uh, and until then, I will see you in the Firecatchers group. Love you.